Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, February 27th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in college basketball in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, hey, click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. All right, before I get to the free pick, real quick note, last night, Owen one in college, 0 1 in the NBA. It was a tough night. Started out as though we were going to have a nice, easy winner with Penn State. That's what we had. Uh, they dropped from an opening line down to, I think most people probably got it around minus five. I know it dipped a little bit below that in a couple of books, but minus five, five and a half uh, was the fair price. Uh, they're up 18, 38 to 20 at halftime, and they're coming off a couple of losses, and they are also a Big Ten home team. We know how well they've done this season. So at halftime, it was feeling decent. You know, you never count your wins before they actually, before those, before the uh, clock goes to uh, all zeros. But the bottom line was they're up 18 at the half. They had a 20-point lead. They blow it. They're down by two. They get a three. Closing seconds of the game, they win 65-64. Did us no good because, of course, we laid the points with Penn State. That was a tough one to take. My NBA, I, I had one play and I lost, and I was on the wrong side uh, in the NBA last night. But it's been a real nice run. We're still hitting 60, uh, 65% uh, with our last 20 plays overall. And here's what's going on for Thursday. I've got my first top-rated six-star underdog in college basketball since Saturday. We won that one on Saturday. If you were with me, thanks for jumping on board. We had Pepperdine plus the points over San Francisco. Easy cover, led a big chunk of the game, went to overtime, still got the cover for us. Uh, they were they lost by two, getting about seven and a half or so. But again, that was our last six-star top-rated underdog. That was on Saturday. It was a winner. We're going to rack it up and look to do it again on Thursday. And my college basketball will be available Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Anytime after that over at DocSports.com. Going to pass the short card in the NBA. Looked at the games a couple of times don't like any of them i will be in nhl action after passing on wednesday and we will have the nhl available at 1 p.m eastern 10 a.m pacific docsports.com let's build on the 65 percent run though and uh, after yesterday we had that loser let's get right back in the win column uh, on thursday's card the big six star elite top dog one last saturday let's do it again here on thursday let's get to the free pick for thursday night we're going to head out to the big sky conference it is southern utah hosting eastern washington really weird schedule for Southern Utah. Uh, Todd Simon, their head coach, was a former interim coach at UNLV a few years ago. He's done a nice job at rebuilding this program in Cedar City. And here's the thing, man. They were 14-9. and nine. They were feeling pretty good about things in the big sky. They were playing well. They got this wacky schedule. They had four straight road games, big sky road games, and they lost them all. So they're 14-13. and 13. They head home. They've got two home games left to play. One of them is here against Eastern Washington, a team where they led for a, a good chunk, almost the entire game game and regulation until the end of regulation. In fact, at one point of the game on the road with about eight minutes to go in the game, Southern Utah held a 63 to 52 11 point lead and then things started to fall apart for them. In fact, Eastern Washington's biggest lead of the entire game didn't come until overtime. They led by five at one point. They went on to win by three in overtime. I expect Southern Utah to bounce back in this game and get their revenge. They play in this little cozy gym. I've been to it a few times over the years. A real nice home court advantage in Cedar City, Utah. Only holds about 5,000. They only may get 3,000, but it feels like there's 8,000 or 10,000 in there when there's only three. That's how loud the place can get. So I, I like their home court advantage in this game. I like the fact that they have really true revenge if you want to see what happened that Eastern Washington game earlier this season. And also, they play a very good, solid brand of defense, especially on their home floor. After a four-game losing streak on the road, I look for Southern Utah to get right back in the win column. We're going to recommend a play on Southern Utah minus the points over Eastern Washington, our free pick on Thursday. And again, don't forget, top elite dog, six stars. It's available on Thursday, docsports.com, 1130 a.m. Eastern. We'll look to make it another top dog winner after winning last Saturdays with Pepperdine. Let's rack it up. Let's do it again on Thursday. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I know we lost last night uh, with our uh, college and NBA free pick videos. Let's get right back in the win column today. And if you like the videos, again, click on that thumbs up button subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprite to DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column. We're right back here Friday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, maybe a little bit earlier if we get a chance to cut some early videos. We'll talk to you then.